Hey, 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 what is up, guys? This is your boy JPDude98 with another Nepo episode, or another episode of the NepoCraft server. And today, guys, we have finally hit 30 levels. Um, I actually have died a few times, but in the death counter only shows that I have died zero times. Hey, 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 because I'm a cheater. No, because um, Mr. G actually added the death counter after um, I I died a few times at the beginning. So hopefully, I'm gonna try to keep that under or under zero or at zero. And yeah, so we have 30 levels, and I'm gonna go ahead and enchant some stuff, or just one thing for now. And I've already looked at this, I have either Efficiency 4 on my um, pick, or Protection 3. Now I really want Depth Strider 3, and like, just, look, I want to get the awesome boots, you know, with all the enchantments. So I'm gonna hold off on the boots, and I'm gonna hope that I get another, I'm hoping that I get Fortune as well on this pick, because I really want to get more diamonds, I want to Fortune those bad boys. But at the same time, um, it would be helpful just to have efficiency for it, even if it doesn't get unbreaking or anything else, just for branch mining. And then that way we'll get more diamonds, and yeah. So, um, here we go. I hope this is good. What do we get? No! You know what I said? I said I was just okay with efficiency for it, but I was kidding. I am, I'm very offended. Now what do I have in my boots? Now I have Deb Strider 3. Okay. You know what? Next time it is nighttime, I think we're going to go murder some stuff and get our Deb Strider 3 boots up in here, because that'll be, that'll be awesome. Also, our railway is looking pretty good, and sorry, last time I didn't know who made the railway, but here we can see that it was made by its sender and Mrs. Seven, so shout out to you guys, great job. Dang creeper holes, man, what the heck? Oh yeah, baby, let's go. Are you trolling, are you trolling me right now? Was that, okay. Whew. I'm like, that better be more than two diamonds right there, that'd be pretty cheesy. Alright, we got four, awesome. Okay, guys, we just finished out a little bit of a mining trip. I completely wrecked my diamond pick. It just, like, went, like, crazy. Um, yeah, yeah we, got, we have that. And also, we got some more diamonds. Um, I think before we had three. Now we got we got found four when we were down there. Um, I know I have Death Strider 3 on my boots, as you guys saw. And if I have Fortune 3 on here, I'm probably going to have to go with that. All right, so I already looked, and um, we still have our Death Shatter 3 on the boots, and on the pick, we have Efficiency 4. I'm always so tempted when I see Efficiency 4 to just click on it and get it, because, like, maybe they're going to be something else. Maybe we'll get Silk Touch, but I don't know. Hopefully, when we do this Death Shatter 3, we'll get more than Death Shatter 3. Oh, also, on the book here, we get the book in there, there's Protection 4! Ah! No! This is so hard. I think I'm going to have to go Death Strider 3. And of course, that's just Death Strider 3. Wow. And now we have Bane of Worth of Thor. That's pretty much 4. Not Thor. Now we also have Efficiency 4 on this. Again, come on. We're back, it's raining, and now it is time to do another enchantment. I'm really, really trying to get some good enchantments up in here. Our uh, in book enchant, you guys obviously know, Bane 4, not good. We're going to hope there's unbreaking on this. Ready? 3, 2, 1. No, you, are you kidding me right now? This is so stupid, oh my gosh. Efficiency 4, oh, how convenient. <sighs> the raindrops keep falling on my head. Well, seeing as it is raining, maybe now is a good time to put a roof on my face because it, I, there's, ra there's rain in my house. That's not okay.
Okay guys, it's a lot later and I think I finally like how this came out. Um, it's not, it's not 100% amazeballs or anything, but I think for my first kind of real build, like I don't do a lot of building, like aesthetic building in this game, but I think for my first real build, it came out pretty okay. So I did this little thing and then Mr. G suggested I should put a little roof on it, so I did. And I put down a little glowstone lamp. I think it might be a little too close to the house. I might move it when I get silk touch tools or when I get another uh, enough glowstone from witches or whatever to get another one. Or just go to the nether. I don't know. But I should move it at some point. And um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I'll go show you guys what it looks like on the inside. Down here looks kind of uh, kind of naked. I should fix that. Um, and yeah, here it is. I kind of, I tried to make a little bit of a gradual slope going out, like, oh, here's a main house, and it goes out to here. So, and we have, oh, we have a beautiful view of the sunset. Ready? Screeny. Bam. Let's go. Okay, so I did a little more organizing. I've labeled a bunch of chests and put things in there, respectively. I have a building blocks chest, uh, dirt, gravel, sand, and the rack for when I get those things. Um, I have a few other things, like a uh, chest where I don't have anything yet, like random. I don't know what I'll put in there. If I get anything random, I'll put it in there. But um, I have cobble overflow, even though I'm not really overflowing. I just have some like things for the future. And also, I don't really have a lot of redstone or anything like that for modules. But I have a redstone module stuff chest. So you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. But um, yeah, so one thing that we've kind of been struggling to do here on the server is get XP. And actually, like uh, I think it was yesterday, I came across a skeleton grinder. And I have some two water buckets and some wood. Hopefully, I have enough signs and random stuff like that to um, go and make a quick little skeleton grinder. So, um, yeah, I guess I will see you guys over there. Do any of you guys know what these materials will help me make in this one right here, too? If you guys do, then I love you so much and you're my favorite. Okay, guys, we made it down here from all the way up there. And now all I got to do is just clear out all this area and get some water tubes and stuff. And in case you didn't know, this was actually my first um, video that I made was on a simple uh, skeleton and zombie mob grinder. And actually, Mr. Goretto reminded me about that because I was thinking like, oh, man, I have to make some big complicated like setup, you know, for the, the XP farm here. He's like, wasn't your first video on like this simple thing? I'm like, oh crap man what you why you gotta know my videos better than i do so yeah so it's super simple um uh yeah you guys can go check that out just go to my first video it wasn't that long ago All right, so I've gotten quite a bit done with this little uh, zombie spawner farm thing here, and our zombie skeleton derp. <laughs> um, yeah, and you know what? I was thinking. I really wish I brought over my depth strider three boots. Like I was thinking to myself, like you know what? I don't want to like break them from all the skeleton shooting at me all day. But now I'm just like, it, it would have been worth it. It's good. So. But it's pretty much over now, so no no need to worry too much about it. Um, what we just have is a basic little setup. It it pretty much just what they spawn in the water brings them over here. They come up the two, and and eventually they're gonna come out right here and go bam. And then you can and then there's gonna be um this is a cool thing that I made in my video because I'm so I'm so dang cool. And that's it's, actually, I think it's a pretty good setup. It's a pretty cool, cool thing that I have there. Um, pretty much, you just put out a piston and a lava bucket um, dispense right over their head. So when you punch them, their heads go in the lava and burn up. And uh, but they, since the block or the piston is there, they don't go all the way up, and their their XP and stuff doesn't burn up. So it was pretty awesome. Okay, it is time to build an anvil. Here we go. One, two, three. That was really efficient. And then we go like this, and like this, and we go boom, just like that. We'll place it down right here. I'm just going to combine my um, two stupid efficiency four picks and get a little bit uh, more durability on an efficiency five pick. GG. It's time to collect some obsidian. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Almost fell in. I should have brought a water bucket. Oh, man. I really should have bought a water bucket. Um, yeah, we're going to make an enchanting table over at our skelly grinder. I've gotten actually a lot of work done there. And I'm excited to show you guys.
Alrighty guys, so the skeleton farm is fully functional and I have a little bit of the interior built out. Um, I need to work a little more on it, but I'm really happy with how it's coming out. Um, I got 40 levels. I went from 25 to 40, which is crazy. And you know he's killing the poor innocent squids to get XP. Why don't you just come over here? What the heck? Um, yeah, and look at all this stuff I got from just one little... Uh, for, there was actually a ton of skeletons here. I like, dropped down to 16 FPS and it was nuts. I wish I actually checked how many uh, entities were on there with my F3. But, um, yeah, so I'm going to finish this up. I have an enchanting table and some bookshelves all ready to go. Got some anvils. I'm going to set up some chests for storing the drops and it's going to be awesome. <laughs> I'm doing some, um, some renovations on the farm here. And Automatic Snow just decided um, to come on down. And that, that, was, a, that was a bad decision. Because I was currently expanding it. There's no ladders. Okay, guys. The farm is complete. And the only thing we need to do is put some more lapis right in here. But as you can see, we have a bunch of chests to store. Some drops that you get here that you don't want. We have some extra anvils. We got an enchant table. We got storage. We got an enchant table. Yeah. Um, the levers all work. Everything works. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay. We're at spawn. Let's get some good stuff. Ready? Fortune 3. Fortune 3. Oh, boy, baby, boy, B. baby, it's fortune three. Ready? What else do we get? Are you kidding me? I, th I think all I've got in this whole entire server is just single enchants. I'm like, oh, what else is going to be on here? Oh, and I should have checked on my boots if I was going to get anything else. Hmm. I should before I did the fortune three, but I wanted fortune three. So, okay. We only have protection three on our boots. So I think we are set for today. But hey, we have a fortune three pick. Awesome. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of NepoCraft. If you enjoyed, then you can drop a like. That'd be very much appreciated. And also, if you want to see some more NepoCraft and some more just awesome stuff in general, then you can subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you later.